And we are live. Hello, hello. We're alive, alive. Did the uh, did the countdown go all the way down? It got all the way to thir- 29, 30. Okay, cool. maybe down to one. I don't know. Down to What's one. What's going on, Rudy? Close enough. You know, just uh, just hanging out here at work, having a good day. Where uh, are you? Are you in the I am in an undisclosed location bunker here at the library. Cool, cool. Well, I'd like to welcome everybody to another episode of The Water Cooler, episode 20. Can you believe that? We have 20 episodes under our belts. That's like five months. That's a long time. Yeah, it's about five months. Long and winding road, and we're here. So today is August 19th, and uh, like I said, we're coming to you all live from McAllen Public Library on a hot summer afternoon, and um, episode 20, yay! Yay! Is there any news? Well, for those of you who were here last week, you all know that this was well, you know what? I'm not going to say anything. Stay tuned to the end of the episode. We have a very special announcement to make. Don't we, Rudy? Yes, we do. And we'll say it at the same time. We'll, we'll say it word for word at the same time later. All righty. So uh, I think people are excited. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're just as excited as we are to get this show going here. I'm not excited. <laughs> But we got some birthdays today. We got some birthdays. Let's see. We got uh, Coco Chanel. I'm assuming she's the founder of the Chanel brand. Right? She is. She's a okay. fashion designer, but now you can find pretty much she sells um, uh, perfumes, colognes. I know I use, uh, I use Chanel, Chanel Blue for men. There you go. Nice. Uh, not nice an endorsement, flex. but uh, yeah, nice flex. yeah, and uh, I'm sure there's Chanel shoes, purses, just about anything. Right? Sunglasses now, glasses, yeah. probably jewelry and accessories, that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, so today, speaking of, uh, it's Bill Clinton's birthday. And Thank you for your service, Mr. Clinton. We'll just go on to the next one. It's uh, John Stamos. Former president. John Stamos, okay. He was in the... Family House. Or what was that show called? <laughs> Family Matters. Family Matters. Yeah, that's... I don't think it was that. I don't think no. that. No. <laughs> For those who out John, there... Full House, yes. Full Thank House. You. Uncle Jesse... <laughs> Hello, Rosalva. Thanks for joining us today. Well, Beverly had a question. She wanted to know. Oh, so Beverly is wondering, what time will you be making the special announcement? So uh, uh, I'll be towards the end of the episode. So sometime at around 3.40-ish, more or less, give or take. You don't, to, you don't want to miss it, Beverly. Trust me. Yeah, yeah. Stick around. You're going to want to uh, hear what we're going to be uh, the big announcement, right? So today's also National Aviation Day. Um, how many times have you flown on an airplane, Rudy? Quite, I would say about ten times. Ten times. Yeah. Okay. Not, you, not a lot. Not a lot. Like a lot of people, but uh, just ten times. It's a nice round. Ten times is a good number. It's a nice round number. Yeah. Do you still get uh, like the? Jitters, you get scared when you fly. If, if there's turbulence, like this last time I went to Seattle when we were flying over Colorado, shout out to Colorado out there, but there was some huge turbulence over the Rocky Mountains. Wow. And there was people with their heads in between their 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 legs and wow. I was just like kind of asleep, but uh, <laughs> there was a lot of turbulence. Wow, wow, wow. What about okay. you? How many flights? How many flights under your belt? Uh, too many to count, really. I mean, I just flew in today. Uh, yeah. I was out of state. I flew in yeah. just for the show, and I'm flying right back right. out. For sure. So, you know me. So it's National Potato Day. 
And uh, I got to say, I'm a big potato fan. Potato is like the... It's, it's a staple like, food, man. Yeah, it's that staple food, but it's also a very versatile food, right? You can yeah, steam yeah, yeah. it, grill it, you can bake it, you can fry it, you can hash brown it, you know? Mash Shout it up. up. Thank you, Idaho. Thank you, Idaho. Wait, potatoes are originally from Europe, aren't they? They were brought over? Well, I mean, we know Idaho does potatoes. all our... I don't know. Idaho grows a lot of our potatoes now, right? Yeah, I mean... Anyway, we love potatoes. Thank you. I'm a Thank you. Potato. Thank you, whoever invented the potato. <laughs> Thank you, Mother Earth. Thank you. And then it's World hum Humanitarian Day. World Humanitarian Day. Okay, so humanitarian, like? Like doing a good deed for, doing a good deed. Okay, for the world, that. for people. Yeah, so. I guess this podcast, this stream is like the. This the stream is our. Day. Yeah, it's our good deed for the day. So, thank you. Yeah, people in here from Indonesia, people from Kiko Plaza last time coming in here and saying hi. Yeah, yeah. We we're, we're, we're worldwide. We're Mr. Worldwide now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Plaza, if you're watching, shout out. <laughs> All right, so what do you think of uh, 15 Cent Movies, man? Will that get you to go back to the movie theater? <sighs> okay. 15 cent movie, I mean, that sounds amazing, right? And like when you hear it, that's like even cheaper than it was when I was a kid. When I was a kid, it must have been like a couple bucks, maybe three or four bucks for a kid. 15 cent? When When was that? When was that like in the 30s or 20s? I don't know. It's, it's got the date on the article, but basically it's MC's way to like try to draw people back to the movie theaters because they're going to plan, they plan to reopen. Um, right? Yeah, so the it says the promotion is a one day affair in August 20th. August 20th. From now. So it is, yeah, movies in 2020 at 1920. So that's tomorrow. The roaring 20s, man. We, uh, you know, these people who are out here are like, I want to go back to the 20s. Well, we're going back to the 20s now. For better. So, I mean, so see, David saying uh, he thinks the movie theater is going to be packed tomorrow. AMC is going to be packed. Which one's AMC? That's off the highway in Edinburgh. That's the one over in Edinburgh, correct. Yeah. So, their idea is to get people in. They are going to be doing social distancing, which I'm guessing means there's going to be a certain number of seats left unoccupied in between patrons. And they're going to be showing um, older movies, right? So I think yeah. they're going to be showing like Ghostbusters and um, well, Back to the Future. Does it say there? Uh, yeah, Empire Strikes Back, Grease, Ghostbusters, Black Panther, and Inception. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, you know what? I don't know if that be, that's enough of an incentive for me to go back yet. Hold on, this is different though. Hold on. AMC also has plans after August 20th to bring back certain movies at a $5 movie price. Those are the ones I just said. Oh, okay. So which ones are the ones for 15 cents? I'm not sure. I hope maybe they're 1930s movies. <laughs> <laughs> All silent films with Charlie Chaplin in them. Hey, I'd pay for those cents for that. Yeah, seriously. Okay, well, it doesn't say which movie. I'm sure it's, it's those movies we mentioned. Well, they'd be yeah, selling popcorn for 20. Actually, I think they're going to have discounts on the concessions as well, at least for that first day. I'm sure they'll be making their money back with the concession stand for sure. Yeah. Or in the, in the arcade. And I don't know, people, we've talked about this on, on here before, but people, there's like a nostalgia thing to the movie theater, right? Because it's so, like, it's nice watching a movie but it's not that nice when it's like, you're sitting next to a stranger, the stranger in front of you, you know, has their phone out the whole time. There's a, a kid running around in the aisle. Like at home, you're just, you eat your own food, you eat your own snacks, you know, all that kind of thing. Right. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think it's more of a nostalgia thing. Like people like, they wanna go and step in the sticky floor and they wanna go like, <laughs> to the like the weird restrooms with all the tiles all around it. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I wonder if 
if now in between movies, uh, showings are going to have, it's going to be even more time so they can go in there, clean up, mm -hmm. uh, you know, do all the sanitizing that they are going to have to do, not only to the seats, but the, the, the headrests, the armrests, everything. I mean, they, they got to go in there and fumigate the theater. I don't know what they're yeah. going to do. I don't know. Will they be selling popcorn for $25 though? Yes, most likely. Well, see, I saw in the article that at least on the first day, concessions are also be a lot cheaper. I don't know. I guess we'll see. So it says this, the 20th promotion for AMC is just part of the first phase of reopening plans. The company expects to reopen as much as two thirds of more than its 600 theaters by September 3rd. So by September 3rd, they're going to start releasing even more theaters. And what comes out on September 3rd? Christopher Nolan's Tenant. Does it? Man, see, I want to watch that, but it's, I, it's I, no, I'm not ready to go back. <laughs> not yet. I might yeah, be ready to, maybe in 2022. It's not one of those movies that you're itching to go watch. No, no, it is. Like, I can't wait to watch it, but I'm, I'm, I'm just not ready to go back to movie theater. No way. Maybe the reason they didn't put the list of 15 cent movies in this article, maybe it's different for every theater. You have to contact your theater maybe. But I guess, I mean, that's that's one way to get people back in the doors, right? 15 cents, you can't beat it. Yeah, I mean, it's expensive when you go out and you take your whole family. You can rent out a theater for a hundred bucks. See, I would do oh, that. that too. I saw that too, yeah. A bunch of friends out, together. Four people. Uh, yeah. Right? <laughs> Social distance between everybody and just, you can watch the new, the new, uh, the movie Tenant. I think that'd be cool. And Speaking of, say, right? Hey, who's talking over there? You can just kick them out. Huh? You can kick out your friends from the movie theater, right? Cause it's like you're renting the theater out. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 of course. Um, so you heard of this new trend, uh, so a lot of places now because of COVID, they're having like, you know, you drive up, you pick up your food, you drive through this, drive through that. Well, Halloween's coming up and we're pretty much figuring it's canceled this year, whatever that means. But they found an ingenious way to like still have Halloween. So they're doing a drive through haunted house. And trigger, trigger warning for some fake blood here. Here we go. There we go. So that looks creepy, right? So they're going to, this is in Tokyo, if I'm correct, yeah, yeah. in Japan. And what you did, do, you drive in, you drive into this haunted house. It's supposed to last how long? The, the, the drive it, as they said, it said 13 minute performance. 13 minutes. So you drive in, you can pack your car full of your family, right? And the actors or whatever they are, they, they're on the outside. So there's no fear of them can contamination, COVID, and it's, and I love the ending though. At the very, very end, they <laughs> well, walk no, don't spoil it all. No, I was going to say like, you can take your, tell your kids, you know, tell your, your toddlers or something, Hey, we're going to go to grandma and grandma's house or grandma and grandpa's house. And then like you pull into this undisclosed little garage and these performers come out and just terrorize your kids. And you can, you can, Record your kids, you know, go viral. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah I, they, I they like this watch. idea a lot. This is a really cool idea. I think I wish there would somebody would like get on that here in the valley and uh, have a drive. I I would line up, man. I would. So this looks like it's just like a little rented warehouse or like a storage space. Yeah. Come on, someone hop hop on. But I'm it. pretty sure it's it's like pitch dark in there. They, and they're probably lights because they had to take the photographs, but it's probably pitch dark, but there's like strobe lights and these zombies are like jumping on your car. And T hitting like trying to tip your car over. Yeah, it, it'd be fun. <laughs> I'm not, so Julia's saying, I'm not sure haunted houses are a great idea. I'd be likely to slam on the pedal involuntarily at the first jump scare. I'm sure they ask you to turn the car vehicle off. <laughs> Or at least, you know, put it in park. 
Yeah, put it in part. Don't run over anybody. I'm sure that's what they ask. I'm sure they plead. Please don't run us over. Yeah, that's the, that is the thing. You know, they they probably ask you turn off the vehicle before they can even begin. Drive in, turn off the vehicle, take the keys out of the ignition, and then the show starts. No, it'd be. I think it'd be so perfect if you took someone who isn't expecting it. Yeah, say, and, you know what? I need to get my car washed. Do you want to come with me? <laughs> perfect first date idea. Guys, take your date. Drive them to an undisclosed you know, garage parking spot. Just park it. Like, turn off the lights. And, like, don't even say anything. And then the, the zombies come out. Perfect. Second date confirmed. So, Jill is asking, do you, like, drive through or park it? So, my guess is you drive in. You park the car, the show happens for what, 13 minutes, and then you yeah. drive out the other end. Yeah, it might even be like a car park, like a garage. You just park in, they clean you up, you reverse out, and you leave. Next car up. Yeah, who knows? But I, I think it's a cool idea, um, and it keeps the Halloween spirit alive. You never know. Someone might hop on that down here. That'd be cool. Early yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be all for that. Thumbs up for me. Thumbs up for me. All right. Speaking of COVID, <laughs> so check this out. You know, everyone's required, pretty much required to wear a mask nowadays. And most people wear the regular cloth mask or some people wear the, the medical mask. But, but if you're filthy rich... <laughs> <laughs> Why not buy a one and a half million dollar gold mask? Yeah, that's insane. But so this uh, Israeli jeweler got a request from a Chinese businessman living in the U U.S. to get to a mask made for him, and apparently it's worth one point five million. Is that right? Yeah. And it's made out of eighteen karat white gold. That's insane. 3,600 white and black diamonds and fitted with the top rated N99 filter at the request of the buyer. Wow. Yeah. I mean, if it's going to be like, you know, as they're saying, hey, this could be a couple years, you know, why not be stylish about it, right? Why not just. I mean, I, I get that. I get like people buying masks that have like designs and, you know, whatever. People are, you know, getting creative. That's cool. But really, a $1.5 million mask, that's extravagant. I think that's just, that's too much. Gold but then, you know, I mean, there are people who buy, who buy, they, they, people who buy cell phones. Have you seen these like, Twenty, thirty, fifty thousand dollars cell phones that have gold on them, and, and it's just yeah. I mean, I guess it, outdated. I guess there's a market out there for it. So, I guess if you got it, I guess you can flaunt it, right? I mean, if you have the one and a half million dollars just lying around, and you want to look stylish out there at the supermarket. Get yourself a, a gold I diamond. I would go out wearing yeah. that to a supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> it probably wouldn't yeah. laugh long on your face. They'll laugh at you, and you won't be able to go outside. What's up, Dustin? You won't be. You, someone will probably try and rob you for it. First of all, oh well, you, yeah. You don't I mean, have that's, any security guards. That's a given. I mean, yeah. I mean, for so what you wear? It where you wear it to like fancy <laughs> dinner party? To the Beverly Hilton, man. I guess. I guess. On your big but, business meeting with other billionaire businessmen and women here in the United States. Well, if you do get robbed, though, you can always count on Batman to, like, save you. So I don't another know. For who were with us a couple of weeks ago, we talked about uh, this guy who won the lotter lottery in Jamaica. And when he went to go pick up his check, he went dressed up as Batman as a way to remain anonymous, right? That's smart, man. That's smart. Smart guy. But in Batman news, we have some other guy. We, don't, we can't confirm if it's the same guy or not. 
but we thought this story was pretty interesting. Speaking of humanitarian, um, so this person dressed up as Batman has been prowling the streets of Santiago. This is in Chile, and he's been delivering food to the homeless, which is really okay, cool. this. This is okay. This is awesome because have we seen the Jamaican guy and this Batman in the same room? I don't think are so. We, are we sure that these aren't the same person? Maybe he used his winnings, right, to go to Santiago and deliver food. It could be. So and apparently that. this man, no, well, we're assuming it's a man, but it, it, we don't know, right? They don't know. They've, right. He's been spotted. There's no pictures of him, but he's been spotted feeding the homeless, giving them, uh, like, warm food. Um even, even wearing the coronavirus ready sanitary face mask. There you go. So he's staying safe while doing this. I think I this I think this is awesome. See, look around you. If you see you can dedicate a little time, a little food, a little shelter, a word sometimes an encouragement to those who need it. Oh wait, so they interviewed him? I don't know. Did they? He's he said he prefers not to be identified, but then he said, okay. this quote, adding that the disguise was meant to bring good cheer and unite. Hmm. That's cool. Well, props to you, Mr. Batman, for doing a good deed, humanitarian. Um, if there's an award out there called the Good Humanitarian Award, it should go to Batman. He's our humanitarian of the day. We'll give him. We'll give him an award here. Yeah, 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 and. Uh, I mean, hopefully we'll, we'll have some updates on uh, what Batman's up to in the coming weeks. <laughs> First he I'm went sure. Colorado, now he's feeding the homeless. What's I'm next? sure there'll be more Batman news uh, within the next couple of weeks. I hope so. But speaking of news, uh -oh. can I have a drum roll? All right. So for those of you who were here with us last week, we made an announcement that today was going to be our final water cooler episode, but we were given some good news just 10 minutes before we came on air today. Breaking news. You're hearing a little... So we've been renewed for another season. Yeah. Good run till at least the end of the year. And uh, yeah, we're back. Right around right around the new year, you know, right around election time. That's when that's when we're gonna be at full tilt. Yeah, so uh, I mean I'm happy we're gonna get keep this thing going. I enjoy doing it, like I said last week. It's it's always fun, um, and it's good to interact with people. Uh, people's comments. It's and um, you know, spend time over here with Rudy. Um, yeah, so I'm happy we're back. We're going to be at least going till the end of the year. We'll see. But um, yeah, so for everybody who was like, "Oh no, no more water cooler," y'all are in luck. So many, so many people. Yeah. It so sad. But yeah, it's a Halloween miracle, right? David says a Halloween miracle. Halloween miracle. Jack Skeletor, or whatever his name, Jack Skeleton. He made a miracle happen, and now it's 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 come true. Beetlejuice answered our our pleads. Cool. Thanks, Rosalba. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I was I was reading an email I got from one of our viewers from all the way from the Philippines, saying he was gonna like he was he was he didn't know what he was gonna do with his afternoons, but you know we're we're back. So no need to fear. We're here to stay, at least for a while. Yes. Yes. I just want to say thank you to the to the executives at HBO Max for picking us up. Um, I know it's between HBO and CBS and NBC, um, but yeah, we have to go with, with HBO Max, right? Well. You know, for me, what was more important is that we stayed on the air and we kept this thing going. Uh, 20 episodes is nothing to sneeze at. And, uh, you know, hopefully we got 20 more left in us. We'll see. Yeah. All right. Well, again, thanks, 
everybody for tuning in. We're here every Wednesday at 3.05 p.m. You can catch us live. We love seeing, reading your comments. And uh, if you ever do miss an episode, those are archived on the MPL Adults uh, Facebook page and on the YouTube uh, McCallum Public Library. And yeah. um, remember, fill out your senses. Halloween is the last day to fill out your senses. There you go. Found out on the air last time when we, when we said to fill out your senses. Yes. Thank you, Rosalva. Thank you for tuning in. I know uh, you're one of our regular uh, viewers. So thank She's you. one of our, our top fans on, on Facebook. She's got the badge and everything. Yes. So thank you. Thanks, to everybody. We love doing this. And we'll see you again next week. Stay safe. See y'all.